Well, guys, on this journey of uh, car ownership, especially cars making power now, uh, there's always the roads of ups and there's always the roads of downs. Today, we had a little bit of a down. Anyway, we're gonna jump into it, let's go. All right, y'all, so here we are in front of Cheapo Kitty. Cheapo Kitty's in the garage. Everything is great, right? As you guys know, we just installed the clutch. We, you know, did a bunch of stuff to the car. Y'all saw it in the last video. So the car is really getting ready. I'm trying to prepare it to make some serious power. And if it's not one thing, it's another. Because as I'm trying to break in the clutch, like you have to do, you're supposed to put like 500 miles on it. So I'm driving, you know, putting as much miles. I drove it to work, everything. Like I've been driving it every day, trying to put miles on it. Funny thing is, as I'm driving home the other night, I start to hear this, this noise, this crazy noise. What the hell is, anyway, y'all listen to it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Yo, please tell me you've heard some like this before. So crazy, right? I'm like, yo, what the hell is that? What is that? Well, uh, come to find out, I have been checking my coolant levels. They were a little low. So I said, you know what? Let me uh, add some coolant and see. So I went to the Dodge dealer, got the Mopar coolant that it's supposed to have, put it in there. Noise went away. I'm like, okay, maybe it's something to do. So then I thought about it. I was like, it sounds like a pump or something that's not running right. And I was like, from where the noise is coming from, it's coming right down there from the bottom left, right down there. So I said, what's down there? So I talked to Heat Team Hellcat. I'm like, yo, Eric, what is there? And he was like, oh, it's, it's an intercooler pump down there. So I was like, I was like, could it be my intercooler pump making that noise? So that's what we about to find out today. I'm gonna jack it up, take off the wheel, see if I can access the intercooler pump through the wheel well. The only thing about a one car garage sucks. Anyway, part of living in a big city, right? Anyway, let me move it right now. Come on. All right, so let's hop in the kitty. Let's, uh, I need to make some space. So I can jack it up. All right. Y'all hear that? It sounds absolutely terrible, man. <laughs> the kitty sounds good on cold start though, don't it? Jeez. Yo, man, I'm really like loving this car. Anyway, let me jack it up, do what I need to do. And get started on it. But <laughs> that pump sounds horrible. Ah, hey, look, before y'all start with the Dev, I didn't know you could work on your car. Yes, I can. I just choose not to. I just choose to use my time more wisely, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather dedicate my time toward other things than working on my car. But, because we are doing the runway event, the event is currently 
five days away. So if I need to order in a cooler pump to have it in time, then I need to do that because this car is actually going back to Intrac so that we can install the 250 pulley. Uh, I got a diff brace from P4 Development. Their diff brace, they, they got a really good one. Because I don't have a drive shaft, it's just to help, it's gonna help me when I'm shifting quickly that the, the differential isn't moving so much. The transmission in this car moves a lot. So that's gonna help to tie it down, also provide a little extra bit of um, protection. But yes, I can work on my own cars. I do have the ability, I just a lot of times choose not to. But anyway, like I said, if I, I need to check this pump to see if it's done, or is there something loose or holes or something is going on. So I need to be able to get a look at it. So that's what I'm working on right now. So I know it's hard to tell this in the videos, but my Hellcat is super low. I slammed it and I love the way it looks. It gives it like that modern muscle car feel. To me, I think it looks perfect, but with situations like this, I then have to add additional wood just to be able to get the Harbor Freight jack under it. Yes, it's Harbor Freight. So what? Say something. I only use jacks periodically anyway, so whatever. Anyway, let's get this wheel off, man. Let me stop wasting time. Yes, I'm gonna crack the lugs. Harbor, great jack, pull up. All right, so wheel is off. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing here. Um, I mean, my flathead, so I can take all these pins out. So what we're actually doing is we're gonna open this up so that I can reach the pump, which is like right up in here somewhere. If we have to, we're gonna pull a pump out. Um, to see if I can salvage it, if it is something wrong with it. Um, mainly because of the best best part of time. The intercooler pump on the Hellcats, I priced it out today at a dealer, and it was 1,050 bucks. 1,050 bucks is more than a little bit. You feel me? So, if I can avoid that, trust me, I will. But if I have to spend it, I will do whatever necessary. I don't have one of the uh, the proper puller things. They make clip pullers so that I'm, you don't have to do what I'm doing right now. But of course your boy doesn't have it. So I'm just use two flatheads. Oh, it's hot out here, y'all. New York City in the summer is hot. Hot, hot. Believe me. I wanna tell you, it's, you know what it is? It's the freaking humidity. Our humidity is like disgusting. Even if it's not like stupid hot, it's just stupid humid. Okay, got that out. Uh, fender flare. For those that don't know, Super Pity is on flares. For those of you that don't realize that, she has uh, the little devil from the fender flares. It's much cleaner than the factory ones. I'm not a big fan of the factory flares, to be honest. But if I had a choice, I probably would get the a new Wabba. It's probably, probably gonna be my next car. I mean, the replacement for this car is probably gonna be a new Wide body. Hellcat. Still undecided on whether it would be a red eye or not. Come and talk to me. Gotcha. Pump looks okay. So that's not a good sign. Because everything looks to be plugged in correctly. So if it's just not working, then we got a mucho problema. Mucho. Problem. All right, I'll let y'all see what I see. My thought process is, you see that silver guy right there? Right here. You see that? That silver guy? 
that is the intercooler pump. My thought process is that is where my noise is coming from. So we're about to find out when we turn on the car. <sighs> All right, guys, let's start it up. Let's see how it sounds. If the noise comes from there. coming from there ah. all right guys so then the cooler pump is shot what are the next steps i can tell y'all right now i'm not buying no brand new in the cooler pump these are not things that fail commonly uh not sure why mine fail but they don't commonly fail so i'm actually gonna call cleveland power and performance because they uh they part out a lot of hellcats so chances are they're probably gonna have one for me. If a new one is a thousand fifty, my estimate that a used one from them will probably be about four and change. They'd probably sell it for, and they might hook your boy up because you know my thing. So let's uh, call Cleveland Power and Performance and see what they say. Oh, by the way, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> I know I never really bring y'all in the house much, but uh, we take care of business right now, so. I'm letting y'all come in with me a little bit. Maybe one day I'll give y'all a tour of the crib. But for right now, let's get Cleveland Performance on the phone and see if they got a uh, part for your boy that they could ship out on Monday overnight. That's something I need like ASAP, ASAP. So I've purchased from them before. So I have my own contact there. My guy Tim over there, good dude, knows his stuff. Let's see if they open. It's Saturday right now, so we'll see. It's Saturday at like four o'clock. But we'll call and see. Oh, man. Hello, and thank you for calling Cleveland Power and Performance. Our business hours are Monday through Friday. Oh, uh, they're not open all weekends. Uh, <laughs> damn. Well, uh, let's see. Let's, we'll call them on Monday and find out. Um, let's see if we can get another one. That's really all we can do for right now. All right, guys. I'm going to keep you all posted, man. We'll get a new intercooler pump or a new used intercooler pump with low mileage on it and we'll take it from there and hopefully that fixes our issue and we can keep it pushing. Overall, I must say, Cheapo Kitty has been phenomenal. Uh, I don't I don't play with this car. I, you know, you've guys seen me drag race this car, road course race this car, roll race this car on an airstrip. You've seen me drive it hard and this car has just been phenomenal, man. I, I can't recommend the Hellcat enough for value for dollar that it brings, man. This is just a solid car altogether. So once I change this pump, it'll be one, two, three. So in the next video that you're gonna see, we're gonna take the car back over the in track. Uh, I'm gonna put the car back together in a little bit. I'm lazy, I don't feel like doing it right now. But I'm gonna put the car back together in a little bit. Uh, we'll take the car over the in track. Um, hopefully I can get a pump overnighted and uh, as soon as we get that pump in we'll throw that in along with the 250 pulley and the diff brace p4 development and then team hellcat will do their thing on it and tune it so there you go guys the hope is we should be you know making close to 900 wheel horsepower once we're done so your boy will have i guess that's equivalent to about 1100 crank your boy will have almost 1100 horsepower hellcat rolling through just killing them Anyway, I know this title of the video seemed like it was worse than what it was, but listen, man, you put a lot of money into your car, and as you test driving it, something starts making a funny noise. That would be your initial thoughts, too, so don't judge me. But until the next one, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. We out. We out.